Hello, friends with ACES Connection. My name is Sarah Payton, and I'm the author of Your Resonant Self, which is a book about how we can heal emotional trauma with uh, self-warmth and self-accompaniment. And I'm here this evening to speak to you about something that's happening in our country, in the United States, that's very supportive for all of us in terms of healing from national trauma. And that is the naming that's happening about that the Biden and both Bidens together are bringing us when they're speaking about um, the terrible loss to our country of the people who have died from coronavirus. On the night before the <coughs> Biden's inauguration, he and Kamala Harris made a uh, made a small speech. They, they they created a small vigil for the people who have died of the virus. And in that very small speech that he made, he said, in order to heal, we must remember. And it's hard to remember. And then he and his wife spoke again before the Super Bowl, asking us to remember the more than 460,000 American citizens who have died of COVID. And it's very, very, it's very, very supportive for us as a country, just as it is supportive for individuals to experience the naming of trauma. It's very supportive for us as a country to have our leaders naming what's happening. And this naming is something that allows our group brain to begin to integrate what is going on, to integrate the truth of what is happening to have a chance to take a deep breath and to notice how it impacts us, to be invited to step into a place of mourning. All of these small actions that Biden is doing are signs of secure attachment between a government and its people. And I just wanted to celebrate this movement with all of you after the last four years that we've been through together. And I also wanted to take a moment to celebrate ACES Connection overall for the naming that we as a community are doing and the people who started ACES Connection are doing. And just to, to acknowledge the importance of the work that's taking place on the national scale and on the smaller scale of this distribution network to, uh, to acknowledge the work that all of us are doing to heal trauma, to be able to keep going, and to bring warmth, self-compassion, and understanding to us, and to reach the way that it reaches the world as well, and all of the naming that's happening with the global climate crisis, just acknowledging and bowing to our international community. 